Today we're transforming these four Walmart cakes into a cute stack of jack-o'-lanterns. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Jakey Dayton. Let's get into this because I'm excited. So I'm starting out with three six inch round Walmart cakes and a 10 inch round cake that I'm gonna use to create my jack-o'-lanterns. I'm going to stack my three six inch round cakes on top. I don't know why I did it upside down. It should have been right side up. I think I was trying to be fancy or something. <laughs> now I cut away a lot of cake from the top layer because that's the smallest pumpkin. It was a lot of cake just wasted. The two middle layers, I'm going to create the middle pumpkin but they also created the top of the bottom pumpkin. Now, I didn't have to carve away that much because they were the approximate size of the pumpkins I wanted to create. Now this whole thing is going to get a crumb coat and after that I'm going to cover it with a very thin layer of pumpkin orange buttercream just to make sure that none of my crumb coat shows through. To create the texture of my pumpkin I'm going to use a piping bag and just pipe out some ribs. Just a rib texture all the way around each of my pumpkins. Now this went into the fridge to set up. After that, I took it out and started to refine my shape. Now I'm using a paring knife at first, but then I switched over to sculpting tools to get more detail out of my buttercream. I actually had to carve this like three times because I wasn't satisfied. I mean, it looked okay, but it just wasn't good enough. Good enough that I'd want to show it to anyone. The top one's the most round and then the bottom one looks like a squished pumpkin. I love it. Now this went into the fridge one more time and then I used an X-Acto knife to create my jack-o'-lantern faces. You're definitely going to want to do this when your buttercream is solid otherwise it's going to get really messy and you're not going to get the right face shapes. Originally I wanted each pumpkin to have a very different expression but they all ended up being sort of happy. <laughs> Even the scary one on top looks very happy. Now this cake is primarily buttercream but I did use yellow fondant to create the inside of each of my jack-o'-lanterns to make it look like it's glowing. Man, the squished pumpkin at the bottom. I think that's my favorite. Look how squished it looks. Now once I was finished with the faces, I added a little bit of brown fondant to my top pumpkin and voila! My stack of jack-o'-lanterns was complete. What do you think? It looks cool. Huh? Oh my gosh, looks really cute. That squished pumpkin, I love it so much. It just looks so polished. I love the rib texture. I love the texture that the buttercream adds. That's buttercream, I can't believe it. Now usually I love Halloween, but because of all the renovations I did this year, I didn't have time to decorate. So this year, instead of handing out candy, I'm gonna turn off all the lights and pretend that I'm not home. <laughs> too lazy, there's just too much work I need to do before I'm ready to decorate for a holiday. Now this is probably the end of my Halloween content. There's one video I'm not going to post because I didn't have time to edit it. But I am working on Christmas cake makeovers starting next week. So let me know in the comments what Christmas character you'd like to see me turn my Walmart cakes into. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.